Jackie Slater spoke with a family who lost two loved ones to COVID last spring after they contracted the virus at Theresian House in Albany. And she joins us now. Jackie. Benita, Jerry, we first talked to Ted Minnesale just days after he lost his mother to COVID. Then he lost his father-in-law. Now, both of them died in the hospital, so they could potentially be included in the numbers reported today. But one thing omitted in this report, as you just said, is the names of facilities that were investigated. 93-year-old Agnes Minnesale died on April 23rd. 90-year-old Edward Bridgeford passed away a couple of weeks later. At that time, Ted and his sister were sounding the alarms on high-risk behaviors like a lack of PPE and a lack of information being shared about the COVID conditions inside the facility. They believe unsafe practices like not wearing masks increase the spread, and they also fault the governor and the state for allowing COVID positive residents to return to the facility. While today's report confirms some of their concerns, what it does not say is what will be done now that the inaccuracies have been exposed. Ted and his sister Cindy say the fact that this investigation even needed to happen in the first place is unacceptable. When you're in a public office and you make a decision, those decisions are public and they should be let out to the public and the truth, the whole truth. Um, and when you when you make a decision, take responsibility for that decision. Don't try to cover it up. She needed us and we were locked out and communication with the Theresian House was was difficult to get the really what was going on in there. And Ted says he was contacted by the AG's office back on April 30th and participated in a phone interview with them. The AG's office told me today they are not releasing names of any facilities at this time as it's an ongoing investigation.